They take out about a coffee cup's worth of fat and they spin it in a machine to get the stem cells out. And then they can take those stem cells and they can inject them anywhere you've ever been injured. So anywhere I've had chronic pain or injuries, sites of surgeries on my knee, all of those I've had my stem cells injected. And they can do them intravenously. The other place they can get them is from your bone marrow. And there's all sorts of people say, oh, it's the most painful thing ever. It, it's uncomfortable, but it's nowhere near the most painful thing ever. You're usually on some sort of a, a sedative, so you sort of lay there and you feel some stuff. But then they get this precious stuff that your body makes, but it reserves. And then when they put it into your blood, it goes to anywhere in your body that has inflammation, wow. and it fixes it. Really? Yeah. So I, I did a Facebook Live of me getting my stem cells extracted. If it's that painful, you couldn't do that. Uh, I just had to make sure I didn't hold the camera so they could see my butt. Because, <laughs> you didn't know, you have them inserted into your penis as well? I had stem cells. And, like, I'm a professional biohacker, and I'm willing to try everything <laughs> before I talk about it. So I said, look, I want stem cells everywhere they can go. So, yeah, they put them in my face, my hair. They did them intravenously. I'm the second person to have my stem cells injected into my brain. Uh, prophylactic your brain yeah so oh, they, wow. they do it in the cerebral spinal fluid so you can get them right there and it works like, like this is real and yes I had them injected in my penis and uh, pretty much everywhere that's possible and you want to be younger you want to be younger everywhere a lot of people ask why would you want to live to 180 because the vision of being old is that you're going to be infirm you're going to have Alzheimer's disease you'll have paper thin skin and you just won't like your, your life. And that is not my goal. My goal is to, when I'm 180, to look about like I do now. And I have no idea if I'm gonna be able to look like this when I'm that old or not, but I'm absolutely willing to work to live to 180 and to die trying, because we're all gonna die anyway. I just wanna feel amazing until it happens, and I sure hope it happens in a very long time from now. And why wouldn't we make the small changes in our lives and our environments now to prevent the damage so that even if we die at a normal age, that we have an amazing life until yeah. then? That's the worst case with what I'm doing. And the best case is I'm going to break some records. I'm okay with either one. <laughs> well, that, that's the important thing, isn't it? The, the quality of life. Yeah. And actually, whether you're 40, 50, 60, or whatever, as long as you're feeling good, that really is the most important thing. Yeah, feeling good and having a working brain. And all of us are afraid of that. And what happens in the research from Headstrong Half of people under age 40 have what's called early onset mitochondrial dysfunction. Big words. What that means is that the power plants in your cells, the things that make the energy that gives you your willpower, that gives you your zest for life, well, they aren't making as much energy as they're supposed to. So half of people under 40 are old, and everyone over 40 has mitochondrial dysfunction. They just call it aging. It is not necessary. We know about the system now, and you can hack it. And that's why I wrote my last book. And that's the stuff I've been doing to make myself look the way I look now.